Coming in right now from West Bengal. Earlier, we brought you an update about the West Bengal law minister, Malloy Ghatak, who had been raided by the CBI. His house and a number of other properties of his were being looked at by the CBI. Remember, questions remain over where the law minister is, but the breaking news we're bringing you right now is that the Trinamool Congress is carrying out protests against these raids as we speak. My colleague, our West Bengal bureau chief, Shagata Mukhopadhyay, on the phone to bring us more details. Remember, there is a lens on on Malloy Ghatak right now because of his involvement, according to the CBI, in a long-standing coal scam in the state. Let's go to Shugatha now for more details. Shugatha, earlier you had correctly predicted that you thought that the TMC would possibly stand by the law minister. Now it seems as if we're very much seeing that. Tell us more. Well, this is not very surprising, Soya, uh, to see that the Trinamool Congress supporters, um, you know, standing with uh, Malloy Ghatak especially at his hometown of Asakto, where he has uh, uh, a very strong hold on the ground. He is, uh, he is an MLA from there. Uh, he has been instrumental in, in, in uh, you know, winning elections from there, not just for himself, but also for others. Remember, when Shatrugan Sinha, um, uh, you know, came to contest on, uh, uh, on a Trinamool Congress ticket as an MP from Akhansol in the Bipoles after Babul Shukriyo had quit, it was uh, it was Molay Ghatto who's um, who, who's uh, who's uh, you know uh, old on the ground uh, ensured that uh, that um, uh, you know Shatrugan Sinha won uh, with not only um, uh, you know uh, uh, not only over the, the BJP hope for Agnimitra poll, but with a record margin uh, you know uh, over over candidate. So that is the kind of um, hold that uh, Amolai Ghatov enjoys uh, on the ground in Asansol. And uh, the reason why you are seeing these kinds of protests on the ground um, as and when the search operations are being conducted um, uh, is because of Amolai Ghatov's popularity amongst the Trinamool Congress workers over there. And, uh, and, and that is uh, uh, perhaps why the uh, central agency uh, has not taken any chances it has uh, brought a huge contingent of uh, central paramilitary force um, uh, to, to assist them in conducting this, uh, this search operation. At this present point in time, the entire area has been almost wrapped up, uh, you know, in, in security cover uh, by, the, uh, by the central paramilitary forces uh, because obviously the CBI had anticipated that this kind of a response would come from the ground. Uh, what we are seeing is just, uh, you know, what we had uh, initially thought would happen. And this is no surprise at all, Toya. Back to you. Okay, Shagata, I do want to ask you, uh, we've had TMC leaders and BJP leaders on our show over the last hour. You have the BJP saying that after Partha Chatterjee, it's going to be hard for the West Bengal TMC to prove that any of their ministers, any of their leaders aren't corrupt. How are we seeing the TMC respond to allegations like that? Well, you see, I have been saying this, uh, that uh, Trinamool is fighting a perception battle at this point in time, and uphill one at that. Um, the reason why they are uh, fighting this perception battle is because of the large-scale corruption charges that have been leveled against some of its, uh, not only uh, leaders on the, at the grassroots or mid-level leaders, but also some of its top leaders. And Parthu Chatterjee, Anubhut or Mangal, um, even, uh, uh, even Molloy Ghatak uh, can be counted as among those who are the top leaders of the Trinamool Congress uh, party. Um, and and, uh, and, and uh, Molloy Ghatak being a cabinet minister, a very important minister in Mamata Banerjee government, a law minister, labor minister, and he has been holding this portfolios right from the very beginning. So obviously, uh, for the Trinamool Congress, it is difficult to defend uh, the, uh, the the battle that it is it is uh, uh, you know, fighting in the mind of the people in the minds of the voters. Chernobyl is I don't think really uh, very worried about uh, the opposition at this point in time. Obviously, the uh, the uh, the allegations from the opposition, uh, both the BJP as well as from the left and Congress, would come thick and fast, and they have been coming uh, for a long, long time. That hasn't affected the 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 uh, you know poll prospects of the Trinamool Congress in Bengal in the last 11 years or so. Uh, but now uh, things are looking a tad different uh, because of the fact that uh, you know there is uh, this uh, buzz that the perception on the ground 
amongst the people, amongst the voters, uh, are taking a hit. And that is where the Trinomore Congress uh, is, uh, is a little jittery. It is, at this point in time, fighting that battle with quite the, uh, you know, counter-narrative being, uh, you know, put up by uh, leaders like Abhishek Banerjee, the top leaders of the party, uh, stating that this is not a coal or a cattle scam. This is a scam of the Home Ministry. We have seen the Trinomul Congress top leadership, including Mamata Banerjee, standing beside, um, uh, you know, uh, leaders like Anubhata Mandal, who have been, uh, you know, arrested on charges uh, of, of corruption. Uh, that obviously was the cattle scam case. But uh, I have reasons to believe and a hunch that uh, even the top leadership uh, would be standing uh, next to uh, uh, next to, uh, uh, to Molloy Gautam, uh, he being one of the top leaders of the party. For partner strategy, that was an exception, and the Trinamool Congress had made it clear. Right. So, you know, Shikata, there, thank you. Now, whether or not people on the ground are 